We're gonna do a, a strength session, football based strength session. I know that you're, you're doing conditioning with the ball, you're working with different, different kinds of things these days. We're gonna try to do a very simple uh, strength session, which is normal, uh, which normally done by a, in, in, a, in a football environment, a soccer environment. Uh, you know, <coughs> top class football or at any level of football, uh, you need the strength to, be, to survive in the game. Uh, nowadays, any top class player you see, uh, you will see he's very strong. You will see now from the last years, every time the football players are stronger, they're faster, more endurance. And you need strength, not only on your legs, but you need also to get strong in your upper body and core. So, uh, you can imagine now, any kind of play you imagine, any game situation, there's always at least one reason to get strong. If you if we are playing, just any double strength just to be in front of him, just to push him. If there is a one watch position, I have to be strong. If there is a tackle, I have to be strong on my leg, in my legs. I have to jump, I have to be powerful on, on, on my legs again. I have to sprint, I have to change the direction, I have to accelerate, accelerate. Always you have to be strong. So it's very important to have to be strong, not only on your legs, but in all of your body. If you are very strong on your legs, but you are weak on your upper body, you will there will be a discoordination. So it's very important not to lose your energy, not any and not any energy leak, and be combined. So you also need uh, upper body strength, lower body strength. Uh, basically we're gonna work on very easy exercises. We are gonna work, uh, work in like a circle. You're always gonna need one low depth exercise, which is gonna be here. Like a semi squat, split the squat, different kind of exercises. Then we're gonna go into a faster exercises with the lunge or with the hurdles, and then we're gonna finish with some kind of core stability work. So you're, uh, I'm gonna explain first of all, then we're gonna do two groups. Every set will be one loaded exercises, one unloaded, just faster, and one stability, core stability. You will see the video. Any kind of question you have, you can ask me, you can say it, I will explain it. Normally what we do is when we want to work on the legs, we work both exercises, working with both legs at the same time, like a semi squat, but also with lateral, like a uh, one leg semi squat or split the squat, because in many uh, football, you don't run always in a straight line. You have to pick the ball, you have to turn, so it's important to be strong when you're using both legs. It's also important to be strong when you're using one leg, just to change direction, pick the ball, and it is kind of any kind of movement. So just at the beginning, it's a very basic warm-up. Use of the space. You can go here, just a circle. So I can, we're going to do a very short, easy warm-up, and then you go straight into the, into the ball. The first movement you're going to do, which is going to do, do the leader, is the squat. A basic squat with two legs, you have to have the we are going to do it later with, uh, with the weight, so just to get, so you get the technique. Both legs uh, underneath your shoulders, spread, and from this position, and turn the feet outside for 20 degrees. And from this position, just go down, switch your glutes, go down, and up six times. Up, down, six of this, and up. Try to go straight back, that's it. Bend down, 90 degrees, semi squats, we do six of this. I mean, this is the basic movement, then you are going to add the, the, the bar, so then you are going to work this kind of movement. Going down and up. Once you get the mechanics, the first thing is getting the technique. Okay? Not going too far with the, you don't need to go too far with the weight. The weight has to go vertical on your line, on the back. Don't go far. And it's important to do it symmetrically. Not, not lying on one side, not lying on the other one. That's the basic exercise, you will see. Any kind of training, football, any kind of sport, the squat. It's called squat, semi squat, normally at 90 degrees, 90 degrees flexion here, semi squat. That's the basic movement you will have. After the semi squat, you will apply it with two leg jumps. So, for example, with two different kinds of jumps. The other basic movement we're going to do is the same one, it's the semi squat, but only on one leg. So, you're doing now six, six times, the same, standing on one leg, and just going down, six times with one. But then, semi squatting, six times.
6 and that's the real one. 